I get it. All right, guys. Today I got a video a little bit different than what I've been bringing back, and this is one of the reasons which I haven't uploaded so many videos yet. And this is my Overland Project Jeep build. Is my 2001 Jeep Cherokee XJ Sport 4x4 in light in line six cylinders. Um, I'm gonna show you. It's been almost two years since I put a video. I'm gonna show you a couple of updates. What I well, the reason what I been working on is because I I free some found that I got to go to the blade show, but it's been canceled. So. I decided to put it in the Jeep and this is what I done. Let me start with the front bumper. This front bumper is uh, the company Fishbone. Fishbone off-road is the you get the the, inc the included bull bar is welded is you can take it off it's welded on and you get the the two Mounted for the light, uh, I got the Smithy Bill X20 winch with 10,000 pounds synthetic rope. It's a pretty nice winch, so far so good. I haven't really used it, but uh, I tested a little bit. Um, you got a nice uh, feature because you can use it like Bluetooth. You don't need to to be beside it to use it because it's, you got a remote, basically. This is the connection right there. It's completely waterproof. At least that's what they say. I haven't tested yet. And yeah, that's that's the winch right there, and that's that's the bumper. This is pretty slick. In the video before I show you, I got the Butch Walker fenders. Got two inch wheel spacers on it. 31 inch tires, and I got a three inch lift kit. Rough Country with the steering bar and that's most of the stuff I have done in the bottom I got a power stop brake this is not gonna be a road crowd like I, I didn't intend it to be a road crowd I use a overland vehicle you know to when I do camping and all that stuff uh, Mikey Thompson 15 inch wheels I put a roof rod as well that's the, the company EAG roof rack for the Jeep XJ. It's pretty nice because it got this mountain right there, the mountain in the in the rain drain right there. Or in the rain gutters. Whatever you got there. It's a three piece it's a three piece uh, roof, so it's not just one, you put it in three different pieces. But it's pretty nice so far, a little a little small. Uh, around five foot was still good and I put the same same brand EAG in the back it's supposed to hold up to five thousand pounds of towing capabilities I used towing a small five foot uh, uh, little trailer and it's done it good so far this one is uh, I don't trust it too much because it's not in the into the frame it's is bolt into to the to the standard four bolt that the that the original have so yeah that's that's it so far my you see how it look like I got two inch wheel space like I say the plan for the future I I think that I'm gonna put some loggers in the front I got the the Dana 35 in the back which is uh, you got bad reputation to be in wig and I'm trying to put a super kit in Dana Dana 35 uh, what else I want to put the rock slider I want to put a light in top right here I want to put a light right here after I complete all those steps uh, I think I'm gonna paint it I'm gonna buy some well I still need to fit the the headliner you can see it's falling down I got the stuff to fi to fix it I haven't fixed it yet but yeah that's the Jeep so far I'm gonna paint it with some bed liner when I get to the point so far so good I gotta I gotta check it out some problem I have I'm losing some 
some coolant so that's not good all right guys uh, i hope you've been patient waiting for the next video um yeah probably gonna load this one today uh saturday and tomorrow I'm gonna unload another video with knives that is gonna be a video of the uh fallen even a1 pro versus uh, uh trc apocalypse so that's gonna be a good video yeah that's the that's the jeep how it looking and so far i'm liking it what i see right guys have a good day